What if there were Ballon d'Ors for anime? In this video I made a poll asking for the best anime of each year, from 06 to 2021, and also counted ongoing shows like One Piece. It's just a small Twitter poll, don't take it too seriously and enjoy! This is the tweet I sent out, I asked people to vote on what anime they think was the best that year and as I wrote a disclaimer I didn't watch every anime from 05 to 21. So sorry if I forgot something, let's start with 2005. As you can see, we only have 35 votes. So like I said, this doesn't represent shit. So we had Bleach with the Soul Society arc and Avatar, which isn't technically an anime, but 2005 wasn't really that filled in. And Blood Plus, I have no idea what this is. And this year's Ballon d'Or, or the prize for the best anime, goes to Bleach and Avatar. Now, if there is a draw, I, as the producer of this video, just give myself the right to decide on a winner. Because what you're gonna do about it? I can do it, it's my video. So, 2005. Honestly, I only included 2005 because I wanted Bleach in it, because I originally planned it, planned doing like the last 15 years, and now it's the last 16 years, an uh, odd number. So, I will pick Bleach. Bleach won the anime Ballon d'Or in 2005. Let's give it a round of applause. Now, 2006, we have contestants Death Note and Code Geass, which is wow, a really close competition. Then we have Mushishi and Black Lagoon. And in last place, with 2% of 41 votes, is Mushishi. Wow. Third place, Black Lagoon. Second place, Code Geass, meaning Death Note won 2006. Congratulations, Death Note. 2007. So we have one piece with the water seven and any lobby arc we have guren lagan and we have planet now third place of course it's planet second place guren lagan and first place one piece so one piece first win in this list congratulations 2008 we have planet after story now so maybe there's a chance for redemption for planet we have toradora black butler and soul eater a really solid year for anime, I would say. Last place, Black Butler, which, I mean, it was kind of popular, but I guess against those other competitors, it didn't stand a chance. Third place, Bronze Medal, Toradora. And the winner is... Planet After Story. So the second place is Soul Eater and Planet After Story actually with the redemption. Mad Lads 2009. We have Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Fairy Tail, K On, and Bakemonogatari. Now, if I say so myself, there is definitely a favorite for the prize in this year. And let's just keep it short. Of course, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood wins it by a lot. And here you can see the ratings of the others. Honestly, I was kind of surprised how low Fairy Tail ranked. But I guess the people I asked don't really rate Fairy tell that much probably if you ask in different communities fairy tale could have taken it even so 2010 we have one piece with the marine fort arc naruto shippuden with the pain arc angel beats and bakuman now we have two two strong candidates for this year and let's just start with last place bakuman sorry bakuman your rivals were just too strong third place of course it was angel beats but what comes next surprised me a lot not only is angel beats very close to one of the next following arcs but who actually won it surprised me as well so the second place or let's just skip to the first place and then you will know what the second place is is naruto shippuden with the pain arc so naruto takes it which means one piece the marine fort arc the greatest war arc in all of anime doesn't win interesting i mean congratulations naruto your first ballon d'or gg 2011 now i did a slight mistake because hunter hunter came out in 2011 and i didn't clarify that i used hunter hunter again when the chimera end arc was airing so in 2013 so it kind of seemed like this was the only time you could vote Hunter Hunter. So we have Hunter Hunter, Anohana, Fate Zero and Steinskate. Last place, Anohana, which is 3%. Come on, man. I mean, I guess the other shows were really good and really strong candidates, but Anohana isn't that bad. Third place, Fate Zero and the winner is Steinskate, luckily. Because this is basically just the Hunter exam arc, which is underrated by many because many think it's shit, but I think it's actually good. But yeah, it's Steinsgate won it and Hunter Hunter still has a chance with the Chimera end arc. Congratulations, Steinsgate. 2012, we have Psychopath, Naruto Shippuden, The War arc, Berserk, Golden Age arc and Kuroko no Basket. Now, a lot of decent shows and we have Naruto who beat One Piece. Like, they beat One Piece. So I'm expecting a lot in this as well. In last place, Kuroko no Basket. I like Kuroko no Basket a lot. I think personally, I 
I voted for Kurokuno Basket, but it seems like it didn't really stand a chance against the other shows because in third place with a huge difference, Berserk. And now I know that many people claim that the Berserk manga is a masterpiece, but I don't know how they think about the anime. It's probably solid. It just amounted to the third place in this poll. First place, and this is a surprise, Psychopath. Psychopath won against Naruto. So Naruto didn't win this, but they won against Marineford 2013. Now we have Attack on Titan Season 1, Hunter x Hunter the Chimera and Arc, Kill la Kill and Free. Let's keep it short, of course Free loses this. Come on. Third place, Kill la Kill, also with a lot of difference. The race was just between Hunter x Hunter and Attack on Titan and they didn't disappoint me because of course one of the best arcs in all of anime history won this Hunter x Hunter, Chimera and Arc. There you go, there you have your prize for this year Hunter x Hunter. And again, Attack on Titan, the future seasons, will maybe appear in this poll, so Attack on Titan still has a chance to win an award. 2013, also a very strong year for anime, because from this point on, we get to all the modern stuff and all more well-known stuff. So we have Yolai in April, Haikyuu, Ping Pong, The Animation and Tokyo Ghoul. This was probably the closest one yet. So in last place, we have a tight last place with Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uzo and Tokyo Ghoul. In second place, we have Ping Pong, The Animation and in first place, Haikyuu. The two sports anime are the two on top and Haikyuu takes it from this point out. And congratulations Haikyuu. I heard a lot of good things about Ping Pong, The Animation. It's a close one as well, so yeah. Haikyuu wins 2014. 2015, One Punch Man, Gintama, The Shogun Assassination Arc, Jojo Part 3 and Assassination Classroom. Now, this is probably one of Gintama's best arcs and it's last place by a huge difference. I was a bit surprised, but people are sleeping on Gintama for a long time. Maybe the other shows are just too strong, which I don't see. I mean, I didn't watch Jojo Part 3. By the way, I'm doing a Jojo Blind review on my channel and currently I'm at Part 2. So I don't know anything about part 3, but I know that people rate it really high. So let's just clear out the third place. It's Assassination Classroom. Also a very good story, a very good anime, but it didn't stand a chance against One Punch Man and Jojo. And the winner is uh, both of them. And I have to decide again now. And because I didn't watch Jojo part 3, I will take One Punch Man. But Jojo part 3 will probably be really good as well because part 2 is really good. And people say part 3 or part 4 is the best. I don't remember. But for now, One Punch Man takes it. And he one punches his way to his Ballon d'Or. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! 2016, ReZero, My Hero Academia, Mob Psycho Season 1 and Jojo Part 4. Another Jojo and probably the last Jojo. So we have My Hero Academia, one of the biggest franchises in modern anime. And it's dead last by a lot, which surprised me. I mean, it's the right choice, don't misunderstand me. But okay, I guess all of the 42 voters must have been older than 12 because they didn't vote My Hero Academia, just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, third place, V Zero. Also a very good anime, but it seems like it didn't stand a chance against Jojo and Mob Psycho. And I am so happy that the first place actually won this. It's Mob Psycho. Of course it's Mob Psycho. Wow, it's such a great anime and it, and it takes the W. And I'm sorry, Jojo, I didn't give you the win before and you lose again. But Mob Psycho takes it by a lot. I'm proud of all the people who voted. 2017. We have Made in Abyss, Leg Clover, Miss Kobayashi. Yeah, that thing. I can't pronounce it. Sorry. So let's keep it short. Last place, Ovari Monogatari. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Didn't watch the Monogatari series. Third place, of course, Miss Kobayashi. Of course, it didn't stand a chance against Made in Abyss and Black Clover. Now, Black Clover is very popular. Will it take the W? No, it doesn't. Made in Abyss wins. And it's deservedly so because Black Clover isn't really good and overhyped. Personally, I think Made in Abyss also is a bit overhyped. I didn't see all the hype watching the first season, but it's definitely better than Black Clover. So congratulations, Made in Abyss, and a round of applause. Let's just applaud by maybe giving me a like. Yeah, let's let's just continue with 2018. So we have Devilman Crybaby, Violet Evergarden, Banana Fish, and Attack on Titan Season 3. Last place, Banana Fish. Third place, Violet Evergarden. I'm keeping it really short. And the first place goes to Attack on Titan, the best season of all of Attack on Titan season 3. Congratulations, it got its redemption. A round of applause. And the first award for Attack on Titan. 2019, and this is where I was a little bit disappointed, not gonna lie. We have Mob Psycho season 2, 
Vinland Saga, The Promised Neverland Season 1, and we have Demon Slayer. Now, in that last place, Promised Neverland Season 1, like, Season 1 was actually insanely good, and it got 3% out of 40 votes, roughly. And that's a bit rough. I know that Season 2 was really shit, but Season 1 was, like, at least a 9 out of 10. Anyway, third place, Demon Slayer. I also rate Demon Slayer really highly, but I guess against Mob and Vinland Saga, it didn't really stand a chance. But congrats for third place. And the winner is Vinland Saga, beating one of the best seasons in all of anime for me. Like Mob Psycho Season 2 was such a masterpiece. I didn't watch Vinland Saga yet. I heard many good things about it, but to it beat Mob Psycho Season 2, it must have been a masterpiece, man. So as I said, didn't watch it, so I can't judge it, but congrats. Anyways, 2020, we have Jujutsu Kaisen, final season of Attack on Titan, Keep Your Hands Off Aizuken, Love is War Season 2. Last place, Keep Your Hands Off Aizuken, by a lot. I saw many Many people rated high. I mean, we have Attack on Titan and Jujutsu Kaisen on this list, so it didn't really stand a chance. Third place, Love is War Season 2. I wanted to include Love is War because it's such a great anime and it didn't get the W, but it's third place, whatever. The winner is Jujutsu Kaisen leaving Attack on Titan with only one award. Maybe it gets the award this year, 2022. For 2020, it doesn't. Jujutsu Kaisen takes it up. 2021, we have Tokyo Revengers or Taxi, which I misspelled. Maybe I misspelled a couple of animes. Whatever, it's my list. What are you gonna do about it? 86 and One Piece Vano. Last place, 86, didn't watch it. Third place, or Taxi did watch it just recently and it was so insanely good that I think it should have been second place or maybe first place. To be fair, maybe first place because One Piece is great and all, but I don't think Or Taxi loses against Vano. Anyway, the winner is Vano. Vano beats Tokyo Revengers. Tokyo Revengers was solid. I read the manga. The manga is really great, but I didn't really rate the first season of Tokyo Revengers that high. So congrats, One Piece, second award, and you're the last one to win it because that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment your thoughts on anything really down into the comments. Bye!